Uh, okay. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up just a bit. I think my audio might be a bit weird. <laughs> just kidding. Today we're talking about in your face theater and it is wild okay so to start off we, we're gonna we, i guess we just gotta go through the orange a little bit yeah get into it in your face theater originated in american sports journalism during the mid 1970s now of course it wasn't really in your face journalism back then it took years to grow and develop into that and i wouldn't say it really started to be in your face journalism until the 1980s 1990s ish area it's also worth mentioning that the term in your face theater wasn't really a uh, a thing until a guy named Alex Shears, a British theater critic, claimed it in his book in 2001. So if you couldn't tell, in your face theater is kind of, well, in your face. But seriously, I say this because the whole point of in your face theater is to shock the audience. It's all about making people uncomfortable. Think think uh, nudity, sex, violence. It's all about making people uncomfortable. So a lot of times, in your face theater will have their characters in extremely uncomfortable situations. It was these uncomfortable situations that piqued my interest in in your face theater. There was this one scene I can recall specifically where basically uh, this guy comes home and he finds out that his wife's been cheating on him or whatever. And in my head, I'm like, oh, well, I've seen this story a million times. He's going to come in, get mad. Oh, why are you doing me like this? Maybe hit her or something like that. You know, the, the, the common thread in media. And to my to, to the credit of what I've seen in my, like, what, 20 years on this earth, he did come in and he did get mad. But what made the scene interesting was that as the scene goes on, oh, you know, he finds out that she's cheated on him, this and that. But you can kind of see where it turns from him being angry to him being curious. Because it goes from... <laughs> it goes from... <laughs> It's a huge tonal shift, basically. And at the end, the end result is this scene that's that that's played with his anger to the point to where it's devolved into extreme curiosity. And the result is this extreme, extremely uncomfortable situation. I mean, my dude was sitting up in there like, was he good? How big was he? He made it clap. He had squirt. He liked squirting. I was like, the junk had me like just... <laughs> The junk had me confused. I'm sitting here looking. I was like, how down bad you got to be to sit up here and cling on this conversation? Like, I could never. That's why I, that's why I kept telling myself. But it's it's emotions like this that are represented in media that are used uh, in almost everything. Maybe not to the extreme of, you know, you asking your wife how the affair was. But it's, it's, it's that energy that people have been taking and using. And I feel like... In your face theater needs uh, deserves a bit more credit for what it is basically starting. Wow. Now I won't pretend like in your face theater was the first concept or idea to make people uncomfortable because that would be entirely false. However, in your face theater specializes in deriving that tension from the audience. It's a it's a relationship that they play with. In other words, or in the words of Alex Sears himself, in your face production or in your face theater productions aim to make you feel like your space is threatened. To do this, more the more volatile human emotions are explored. With the most volatile emotions and the most uncomfortable situations, in your face theater is able to back its audience into a corner. Uh, I believe Alex goes into detail about the types of things that he would use to invoke these emotions like vomiting, um, rape, uh, and other things of that nature. Some examples of in-your-face theater include Tran Train Spotting, Mojo, and Beauty, the Beauty Queen of Leanne by Sarah Kane, who happened to play a pivotal role in in-your-face theater. Between her and Alex Ciarze, 
The point of in-your-face theater wasn't just to shock people, but to test the moral boundaries of society. Kane was originally going to be a poet, but she felt she couldn't accurately convey her emotions through poetry. So, like a normal person, she turned to theater. So, anywho, In Your Face Theater is staged by a bunch of different diverse theater groups. Well, I say diverse. Uh, Royal Court, Fireborough, and Tricycle are just a few. And while those groups I just mentioned are all London-based, In Your Face Theater isn't exclusive to like any region. It could happen anywhere. So, to conclude, Rapid Fire, uh, In Your Face Theater got big during the 1980s and 1990s. In Your Face Theater is <laughs> in your face. And it's here to make you uncomfortable. A la your parents are getting a divorce and it's your fault. And for those of you who are wondering where I got all this information, here is my work cited page. It has been a joy talking to everyone. I hope that you will look more into In Your Face Theater because it is actually more interesting than it sounds. With that, I'll... Uh, I'll see y'all around.